records? Uh, yep. Yeah, so uh, we announced yesterday about Eric Sweeney having mono. He'll be out a couple weeks. Um, unfortunate uh, break for him. Uh, but uh, thankfully we have a, some capable guys uh, ready to step up. Uh, Ken Webster moved around and practiced some today. So did Sincere David. That was good to see. Um, all the receivers look back and look look healthy. So I, I think we're ready to go. I guess the, probably the biggest question mark is still Ken and, and Sincere, but they did practice today and look good. You talked on Monday about how it's an advantage that Tech also has an air raid offense, but in what ways are your offense and theirs different? Um, you know, there are a lot of similarities, but uh, you know, it, it's hard to say just because this year is so different. They got so many people that are gone and. And we got a lot of people coming back. It's just, it's, it, but it's, it'll be hard to say. But after this week, you'll probably be able to see, you know, exactly how it is. I, I'd say we're probably a little bit more 11 personnel. They're a little bit more 10. But uh, there are a lot of similarities as far as concept wise. So, what's the biggest thing you feel like you guys need to clean up for Saturday? You know, I, I think um, just the, maybe some of the game plan stuff, your, your third downs, your goal line, that's, that's specific to this game. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot, a lot of your first and 10 base down stuff you've been repping. A lot, but you know some of the goal line plays that you don't work as much. You maybe get three or four snaps of it in a game. Uh, just making sure our game plan stuff is sound and and, and it's game ready. Do you think Ken and Sincere will play? Uh, I do. Okay. I do. How how much realistic do you think Ken could give you? Uh, you know what? I don't know. I, it won't be as much just from a um, uh, just him you know longevity standpoint. Yeah. Him, how many plays he can go? But I do think. They'll be able to get out there and give us some snaps, but the, the, he'll be a game time decision. You know, when you're when you're dealing with a hamstring, he's got to be able to open up and run, you know, at corner. But we do have a few more days, and he, he looked pretty good today. So I, I would say he's going to be able to give us some snaps. I know you guys have to capsulize things week to week, but this game uh, against a, a Big Twelve opponent, Texas Tech, how big of a tone setter can this game be for this season? No, I, th I think it's huge. I think. Um, we we're talking today. You get uh, you get twelve opportunities. You work all year for twelve opportunities, and this is one of those twelve. I mean, everything you do from the summer to the off season, the getting up early in the morning, uh, coaches recruiting. You know, your whole um, your whole schedule is built around twelve games, and so this game is important. But so are the other eleven. But uh, but any one of those twelve games, because it's what you do and what you set your whole year up around, they're all big. Well, Demarcus Gregory will he redshirt this year? Yeah, I think he will. Uh, you know, if he came back because of that four-game yeah. deal, we may be able to, you know, get him in the last four games potentially. So e either way, uh, I think he'll end up in the red shirt, whether he uses the last four games or is not mm -hmm. able to come back. I think I'm right here, but you've seen seven offenses in a row leave fall camp here. Where does this one rank with the other offenses? <laughs> uh, I wish – I wish I had uh, – everybody's asking me how you all going to be. You, you don't ever really know till you go out there because every team is different uh, until you turn the lights on and you don't ever know. You know I'm really excited about Scotty and the O-line, the receivers and Jordan, and that, you know, I feel like we got a lot of guys that have played a bunch of football, and usually that uh, that's a good thing. But until you actually go out there and do it in the first game, you'll, you don't ever know. What, what's your message for the inexperienced players that will now have an expanded role? Um, just, just to uh, relax and go out there and play football. They're, they're going to be surrounded by guys that have played. So just communicate and go play. You're not going to be perfect, but when you make a mistake, play the next play. Don't, you know, don't let that that one mistake, you know, go go and affect the next play. So just, uh, man, go out there and, uh, you know, just go enjoy it. Have fun. It's why you came here. Why you came here to play in big games and and, and go enjoy it. Obviously, a lot of preseason questions about the defense. Are there any tangible benchmarks you hope to see Saturday? As far as tangible pitch marks, I, I think uh, the energy is tangible. I think a defense that flies around and plays hard and plays fast, I believe that's tangible. Uh, you know, so no, not on stats or a number of rushing yards or anything like that, but I just want to see a defense flying around. I want to see us be able to play more people up front and in the front seven so we can stay fresh. But uh, when you talk about something tangible, I want to see us fly around, play with energy, and play fast. You also had three weeks for Eric being out. Is that kind of more of a ballpark figure, or how do you go Yeah, about? I think you, you got to be very, very careful because there's some things that come along with Mono that, mm -hmm. that are very tough. So you got to just make sure and, and his safety comes first. So three weeks is a ballpark. There's no way to know. And, and he, he, there's not much he can do. So obviously he's got to get back in shape once he yeah. gets back. What what can he do? What can he do? Yeah, there, there's not going to be much he can do for now. He may be able to start getting, when he gets well, start getting some conditioning without contact. Okay.